Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video we will look at while loops. Now in earlier videos we were looking at the for loop, now we're going to look at the while loop. And with a while loop, <clears throat> as you're coming down into your code, or through your code, you'll reach your while statement, which is your question. And as long as it is true, that condition is true, you're going to repeat one or more lines of code <clears throat> and then you're going to go back up to the top of the loop and you're going to ask the question again. As soon as it becomes false, you'll exit out of the loop. Well, the syntax for the while loop is fairly simple. It's the word while and then in parentheses your condition, what you're checking for. So this, this is your question. And then you'll have an opening code block, then your code, and then the close of your code block. For example, we could say while <clears throat> x is less than 10, and then whatever we need to do inside the loop, our code, now, one of the things that you have to be very careful of in the while loop is, unlike the for loop where we were incrementing or decrementing, we were changing the value of our loop counter for our exit condition, there's nothing in the loop itself that does that. So what we have to do is make sure that somewhere in the loop we have to change the value of x in this case. Now, it doesn't matter how we change it. We could change it through a calculation, just an increment, but somehow we have to make sure x changes so that at some point this will become false. Well, let's take, let, take a look at an example. And I've already created a variable called i, an integer, and let's say that while... Let's say that while i is less than or equal to 4, and then have our code block, and in it, let's just output the value of i. So this line, it just C outs I equals and then whatever the value of I is. And remember I said we need to make sure whatever we're using in our loop, in our for loop for, to test for that exit condition, that we make sure we change its value. So let me say I plus plus to add one to I each time. <clears throat> and now let's uh, run it and see what happens. Okay, and I didn't make any typos. That's good. <clears throat> so if we look at what has happened here, well, we came into our loop. We set i equals zero. We said while i is less than or equal to four, well, this time it's zero, so it's less than or equal to four. So it comes into the loop, it does the c out, and it says i equals zero. It then adds 1 to i, so i becomes 1, comes back up to the top of the loop, tests that condition, well that's still less than or equal to 4, so it comes back into the loop again, outputs this time the i equals 1. It does that again for 2, 3, and after it outputs 3, it adds 1 to i, making i 4, comes back up to the top of the loop, well less than or equal to 4, that's still true so it comes into the loop one more time outputs the i equal four adds one to i making i now five when it comes back up to the top test this condition it's now false since it's now false it says okay 
go on and go to the end and begin executing after the loop. And there we've got this message that, to show us what has happened. And we can see that i has a value or is equal to 5 after the loop. So that is a quick example of how a while loop works. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.